Hello and welcome to this Infinite Runner Engine tutorial. I am Reno from More Mountains and today I'm going to talk to you about enemies and death in the Infinite Runner Engine. So, um, in most Endless Runner games, uh, you'll need a way to kill the player because otherwise, you know, it's just uh, endless. Uh, whether it's by falling in a pit, uh, hitting an obstacle or an enemy, uh, you can handle all these things in the Infinite Runner engine using simple scripts and you'll find examples of their uses in most uh, demo levels so for example here in this uh, vertical demo level the only way to die is to fall uh, in the kind of flames that you have at the bottom and they kill you, you lose a life and you can start over so how does it all work? Uh, there are three ways uh, you can kill your player. Uh, the first one is using uh, the level manager death bounds. These are set up using uh, your level managers inspector here and uh, here you can define the bounds. Uh, that's the red line that you can see uh, here. It's actually uh, not a line but uh, a cube. Uh, but this one is like uh, uh, it has a, a zero depth but yeah it's a cube and uh, you can change its size so uh, for example if I change the wall the Y value and press play uh, you will see that as soon as I get past uh, that red line I die uh, there are other examples uh, if I go into the backwards dragon demo uh, you'll see that in this one so I'm, I'm gonna play uh, in scene view um, in this one I have a shark spawner here which spawn these uh, electric sharks and if I touch them they explode, I explode, everybody dies uh, and the way they work is that uh, I'm just gonna drag a water shark into the scene uh, so you'll see it has uh, all the characteristic of a moving object inside the infinite run engine so uh, it has a speed of 6, a direction of minus 1 which makes it move to the left and it has this kill player on touch uh, script attached to it. Uh, what this script does is extremely simple. I'm just gonna close the other ones. Uh, what it does is when it detects a collision with either a collider 2D or collider, as uh, for all the other scripts in the Infinite Run Engine, there they work uh, with 2D and 3D. You don't have to change script or find uh, the 3D version, uh, it's it's all compatible and um, when a collision uh, with something else is detected it uh, checks if it's a player and uh, if it's a player it looks for uh, the playable character um, component and uh, if there's one it decides to kill the player and this calls the level manager's uh, kill character method and what this does is uh, it starts a coroutine which is called kill character co uh, and uh, it will remove the player and if uh, this was the last character because you can have more than one playable character in your scene uh, then it triggers all characters are dead and what this does is uh, it triggers a big uh, on-screen explosion uh, you lose a life uh, it starts a chain of events basically that will uh, turn you into uh, uh, the, the lifeless state if you've lost all your lives then you turn into the game of the state and basically you're dead um, and uh, the yeah that that's pretty much uh, all there is to know about enemies it's really simple uh, another example that you can find is in the uh, lane runner demo scene and uh, this one is 3D and uh, what this one has uh, it's these uh, spike spawners here they, spa they spawn uh, spike game objects and spikes are basically the same thing as you can see they have this uh, kill player on touch and if I press play move my uh, scene here my game view at some point yeah I should start seeing uh, these obstacles and if I don't manage to avoid them I touch them it instantiates uh, an explosion 
and I'm dead and I've lost a life and I can start again and you know die again that's basically all there is to know about enemies of course you can create uh, better ones you can create different ones that would have health and so on um, there are no examples uh, yet of enemies with health but that's something I plan to add in a future version uh, that that's everything there is to know about enemies uh, I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye